Hey guys, I'm doing a quick makeup look for you. Nothing specific, but I was asked to do a makeup tutorial using the uh, Real Techniques brushes. So if you, and I also use this one. So if you guys are interested in seeing my makeup get done with these brushes, keep watching. So I'm going to use the base fluffy brush and just apply some color to my lid. And I'm putting this all over. It's hard to <clears throat> it's hard to get used to using such light brushes if you're used to using brushes that have you know a longer handle. If you can tell there's a little bit well a big difference here. The MAC brushes are a little bit heavier than these. These are definitely much lighter. But so far so good. Like I said, I used these all last week. And I think for the price, these are excellent brushes. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to use a color called Gleam. That's a MAC color and I'm going to load the brush up here and just start placing this color in the outer three quarters part of my lid. Okay, so I have the color down. What I like about the brush is that it comes to a point here. So for me, it's real easy to get into this outer corner area. So the blendability is pretty good with these brushes. But I do like that I can get out here because my eyes are quite deep set. Having that little pointed area there helps as far as pushing color into that deep crease that I have. Okay, I'm going to use my flat shader brush here, or it's just called shading brush. <clears throat> and I'm going to take a brown, and I will be using mulch. I'm going to load up my brush here, tap off some of this excess. I'm just going to push this out here into the outer corner. Now what I like about the brush is the size, because it is quite small. Anyone who has small eyes, you're going to like this brush. Plus I like that I can push color in with my eyes open to see exactly where I'm putting it in at. But again, it is, it is a little bit harder for me to get used to the length of the brush just because I'm so used to MAC but I'm sure that after a while it would just be normal just like with anything else okay what I'm gonna do now is use my fluffy brush here <clears throat> to start blending this out and it blends pretty good I think The brushes are so soft. Anybody who has MAC brushes, you know that these brushes, they're a little stiffer and sometimes they can feel a little bit like they're scratching, but with the Taclon bristles, you don't feel that at all. It's so soft, you almost feel like you're not really doing much because the bristles are so soft. But as you can clearly see, that's blending out nicely. Another thing I like about this brush is again that pointed area because I can keep my eyes open just like this. The brush fits right into my crease and I can just blend back and forth. And that's really nice. Now if you're using a 217, you'll notice it does not come to a point whatsoever. So when you're blending, you kind of really gotta push that brush in to get any to get it into that crease if you're gonna blend with your eyes open. But with this one, fits nicely right in the crease there which I like. Okay, as you can see I have my color placed and I'm going to use the deluxe crease brush here to just start blending out any harshness that I may have. I don't like it when my color just ends abruptly up here. So I like to use a big brush to kind of let that color grade, um, let that color, um, I'm trying to think of the word, gradually fade up. 
which is what I like. And then I'm going to use this same brush here and put it in a little bit of brulee. And just add that right up here. Again, the brushes are so, the bristle are, God, I can't talk today. You guys have to excuse me. The handles are so short, I'm not used to holding them. Even though I've been using them, I'm still having a bit of a hard time holding these brushes. So now I'm going to use the angle brush, um, which is also known as the brow brush, which I don't use for my brow. And I'm going to dip it back into some of that brown, and I'm going to push it right along my lower lash line. <clears throat> now I've actually been using this brush for this very thing all week. See, I like that, you know, obviously with regular brow or angle brushes, you can pull the color out and then up. But that's what I've been using it for. It's just so soft, so incredibly soft. <clears throat> I really like that. Now I'm going to use the little accent brush here and just push a little bit more of that brown color right along the lower lash line here. I love this brush just for this purpose. It's perfect. It's also perfect for, um, like I said before, if you like setting your eyeliner along your waterline, this brush is great for that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that lighter color that I used earlier, that gleam. I'm just going to place some of that right in here. So I've been using this accent brush to fill in my eyebrows. I really like it for my eyebrows and I know that it's not what it's for but I like filling in the thicker part of my eyebrows with this brush and then I switch to my Japanesque brush and I don't, I don't know why but this does such an amazing job filling in eyebrows it's, it's really quite strange but I just really like it so I figured I would share that with you guys if you get these brushes or you have them just try using the accent brush for your eyebrows. It does a really good job. Okay, so now onto the stippling brush here. And I, I really love this brush. This, is, this one and the accent brush are my two favorite brushes, I think. And I just kind of push the color in. Now, it may not be so dark because I'm using a peach, but it's so soft and it really does, in my opinion, do a great job of applying blush. It's just the right size for me. But I think that once you try it, you'll agree that it is a very nice brush. Okay, guys, so that's it. I hope you learned a little something from it. Um, are these as good as MAC brushes? Absolutely not. <laughs> not in my opinion. But they're good brushes, and they're very good for the price, I think. Um, but I didn't use the little pointy one here. I really didn't need it at this point. But you can use it for applying your <clears throat> liner. Um, I just happen to like this one for the liner. So, and then again, um, for eyebrows, I don't know why, but this one works perfect for my eyebrows. If you guys have any questions about the brushes, obviously, please feel free to ask. And, whoops, my husband's working on our family room right now so they hear a little bit of noise but um yeah so I, I hope that helped this was requested by one of my newest subscribers and thank you so much for requesting but I think that it does a very good job of applying color you know this this bl the blending brush this one the um, shadow brush very nice so yeah I mean I'm gonna use them I, I still love my my Mac brushes that I have but again like when I go on vacation I'll definitely be taking these so alright you guys I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon bye